Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to cover a few basics of why it's important to uh, or explain how to uh, secure your PHP My Admin. It's very important that you do that because it, uh, your PHP My Admin gives access to MySQL database which holds an extremely uh, large amount of information regarding your website's content uh, if you're using that. Let me see, uh, first we're going to go to uh, our XAMPP folder. This is for XAMPP users, by the way. Uh, and then we're going to go to our Apache, config, extra, and then this file here. And as you can see here, we've got the alias PHP My Admin. Now the problem comes with allow from all. Now this right here, uh, read about aliases if you don't understand how that works. But we want to change this to 127.0.0.1 and that's going to limit access to this IP only. Now you can use a local area network address such as uh, you know 192.68 and this would uh, and this would limit access to any computer in your home network. You don't have to finish that out or you can finish that out if you want to but uh, that should allow access for me computer in your home network but I personally prefer to do, use this one and that way you have to actually uh, be on your servers computer to be able to access that and then we'll click file and save now another way we can secure it too to add extra security is to uh, go to our PHP my admin and then we're going to create a new text document we're going to call it HT Access. All right, and then we want to open HT Access up, and then we want to type in. And you can uh, enter anything here. I'll just type author authorized user. Then uh, Uh, you will uh, need to specify the path to the uh, password file. I'll look at that in just a minute. I've already created one, but I'll show you what uh, what it is. All right, and then now we want to do file and save as. And then we want to do quotation marks dot ht access quotation mark and then we want to click save and then we'll close this out now the password file as I stated was in uh, C you can see it right here and I'm going to open this uh, open it and then open it with notepad and as you can see I've entered my username and then separated it with a colon by my password now I wouldn't use this but this is just to give you an example I mean you take and save that the same same way you would do your HT access file alright now what happens is whenever I go to uh, local host PHP my admin is I'm prompted for a password so I'll enter my username and my password and then click OK and then you can actually have access to the uh, PHP login uh, so now we're going to log in here and then review it now using a secure password there is very crucial too by the using a good strong root password is very crucial because the root account is going to have access to every one of your uh, databases so you would need to use that and you don't ever use it for uh, a database alright so what I've done I've created a new database for WordPress whoops okay I'm being prompted again okay so I've got I've got a WordPress database now and what I want to do I want to I'm setting up a WordPress blog per se I'm not actually going to do it in this tutorial but uh, what I want to do I want to create a new user for that WordPress now I've already done it here, but I'm going to create a, uh, we'll create a user, say, uh, my blog. And then we're going to use the local host. And then uh, for password, 
You can either enter in a password or if you want a more secure option, you can use generate. And then you can take and save this. I like to usually, uh, I usually like to save it in a text document somewhere. Let's just say a new text document. And I'll take and paste that password in a text document. So that way whenever I need to go back in for future reference there, I know where to find that password. But anyways, we'll go back here. And then once you generated a uh, password, you just click copy and it'll automatically put it in the two fields for you. And then we don't want to create a database for the user. And we don't want the user to have any global privileges. And you can uh, you can set these if you want to, but you can uh, also cause problems by doing that. And then we're going to click go. All right, now that we've created a new password, I mean a new uh, new user, we need to go down here and assign him privileges to the WordPress blog, to that database. So uh, we're going to go down here and select the WordPress database, and then we'll be taken to this uh, the privileges thing. I usually do is click check all and then I uncheck all of the ad administration ones and then we uh, and we click go all right now the thing is now uh, this user WordPress has uh, I mean uh, my blog has access to the database WordPress now I'll show you what that looks like on the other side we're gonna log out and now we're in log in with my my blog and then that password and we'll click go all right and as you can see I have access to this database only test is one that's just a random database that's unimportant and uh, I can't create no new uh, databases I have no privileges and I only have access and rights to this one here but even still though if somebody logs in under uh, if somebody didn't have managed to hack your account your uh, my my blog account and got in they could do uh, a lot of damage to your my WordPress or to your WordPress database and alter things and stuff like that so that's why it's always a good idea to use strong passwords and also a good idea to use uh, new users for each different uh, database that you create so that way you know if they do happen to hack it they can only have access to one now let's say for instance you've already uh, on your root account you created a weak password you're like oh no I've got a bad password you know anybody could figure this out so what what can you do well you can go in and easily change your password and now I'm not sure which one of these either one you would probably need to repeat it for both of them but you click on that and then you'll go to go down here and you will find change password and now you can uh, set a new password for this user if you want to want to have it generate one for you you can just go down here and copy that and then you can just paste it here paste it twice and then you just click go and that's going to set your new password for root and that way that'll make your root account more secure if you were using a crappy password before but uh, that pretty much concludes the security for um, PHP my admin uh, I'm gonna make another video showing part of some of the reasons why how sensitive the information in here is uh, in your database is and so uh, check that out and you'll see what having your database hacked would look like and what a hacker could possibly do or some of it anyway so yeah definitely check that out thanks for watching